Hi guys, Moz here. Something a little bit different tonight. We're going to unbox and review this Trumpeter forward slash Master Tools model clamp. So I thought I would bring this out from the attic i don't remember where i bought it from i have no idea where i bought it from i don't know remember. i can't remember when but it was many moons ago and i've been clearing out the attic of some stuff and trying to get it into this room um and i thought why don't and i found it collecting dust and i thought why don't i open it and unbox it and review it first let's just unbox it first so basically it's, it comes out in a box and that's basically all you get inside is a sprue so this is actually manufactured from plastic um the same way as a, a model kit is so really for me this isn't the sort of thing you want to be using if you're going to be cementing parts together i think really it's something for photo etch or you need to paint something so really this is a painting um clamp really for, for when you build in your models um let's take it out of the bag and let's have a little look there you go so there you are so it comes with this sprue which i thought was quite funky actually a nice color it comes with a couple of springs can you see that they're in a bag and it comes with some o-rings there some little o-rings uh, and that's basically it so no instructions per se inside the box but the instructions are on the back of the box so you've got your parts there um and uh, this clamp includes two different versions so you've got a flat grip clamp and a tooth clip clip a tooth grip clamp there all right that's basically what you've got and it seems to be quite simple to put together um as i said it says holding parts while painting holding parts while adding detail but it says here holding parts while applying glue but because it's this plastic you know i think that i don't think um glue would be any good on this you know it'll melt it i think um just by looking at it anyway so let's put it together and let's have a little look and see that's it that's, that's the instructions there there's the part numbers um on how to build it you've got an o-ring um shape that goes down there underneath this part here so presumably the o-ring goes in there that's basically how it all goes together so not actually a step-by-step -step instruction guide but let's build it and have a little look shall we and see how it goes together i think that's the best way of sorting this out so out with the sprue cutters and we'll go in tight and we'll just click click off the back of the the base first so the base can be all um clipped off and you know it is it's fair plastic you know um let's just get a little thing here i suppose you could paint it to your own color if you like so that's nice there nice little edge it's a bit of a give it a bit of a, a clean up there you go is that one done and then a little bit there just for sight then just get it smoother let's go with it smooth there you go what's that one done so there's the base that's the base for it there now i'm assuming that these are these are two these are two clips so we'll go in and we'll try and get in tight it's quite a hard firm plastic it's not a, a soft plastic but we will just make sure by what i'll do is i'll get a bit of spur out and just see how it reacts to the cement because um, that's the best way of seeing if this plastic will um survive getting a piece of uh, getting a little bit of contact there's some cement on there so there's the first one and i'm assuming then you've got one two so you've got four pins Let's just see how well they go. So that goes in on top like so. You can see that. There it is. So it snaps together. And I presume you put um, the spring in there. So we'll go here and we'll find a spring. So if we just open up this bag. There we go. Put out a spring. And attach that. So if we take that apart first. So one spring fits in there. One spring fits in there. And then it comes together, it clicks in. It's a bit of a click there. And there's your um, your clamp. So what we need to do now is to unclip. So we've got one of these pins here. Um, 
let's go in here and just un, un let's just take that bit off there. Take this piece off here. That's pretty good. And I assume then that just gets pushed straight in there. Uh, which one went in through there? So force them together a little bit. So they should just clip in and pinch. Just make sure it's the right way around. So it doesn't really say which way around it goes. So going by there, I'm assuming, because that's on the outside, I'm assuming then the pin goes in that way. So the pin goes in that way. I don't think it really matters which way it goes in, but we'll do it because that's what the picture's saying. And we'll try and force that through. There you go. And then we just push him in. And he should click. And there it is. There's your first clamp. Lovely. Let's just uh, trim this off a little bit. A little bit of... Make it look nice, I suppose. Flatten it down a bit. But that's basically it, really. That's your, your clamp. Four pieces, really. Three bits of plastic. And one spring. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? So there's your first one. Let's get the second one done now. So we unclip. One. Two. And three. Cool. There's this, and this one here as well. It's getting close. A bit of a rush job tonight. One, two, and three. Need another pin. So they give you spare pins as well, which is quite handy. So getting close, little clip. So take that one off. Go in here again. Push that in there. Look at the instructions. So that goes on the outside again. Need another spring. And there's the other spring there. That goes in there nice. That one goes in as well. Push together. Make a little... Uh, Part there that gets pushed in the hole and it's quite tight there you go this time's easier because i know how to push hard and there's your second clip done so two clips in the base now you need here if i just unclip that one just there just there there's one and then in here is the second one unclip that's good now you need the O-rings. So open that one up. Let's get the little O-rings out. Apparently the O-rings will go over the top and around. So you push them in over the top and around. So there's the oh I've gone halfway there. That's no good. Um just get one of these a minute. So I don't want to break the um the O-ring. Come on, let's try this way. Cool, out. Got the O-ring caught. There you go. So he needs to go up and over and around. Cool, he's tight. There you go, up and around. Just un There you go. There's one O-ring there. Let's get the other O-ring. Let's not do that same mistake again. Um, Come on. There he comes. What I could do is those... Um, Thin pliers, there you go. So anyway, again, so we'll go this way this time. So we go up there, and then we will try and put it over. Now we're still going halfway. Bit of a nuisance that, but it's they are quite it's quite a stiff fit. So in we go around. That's it. Come on, in you get. Right, open over, there you go. So we flick that around there, up over the top and around, and boom. There you go, second O-ring on that one. And then these just slot in here, so it's like a bit loose, but it is what it is. It's only plastic. And they go in like so. And then these clip on here, depending on how... Come on, get in. I do from the top. There's the first one. Come on, then you go. I should have to do it. Which way to do it? That's in. So he's in. That's quite tight actually. But there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of movement there. It's not as it's not as um let's push it in. There you go. That's a bit better. 
But if you pull it up, ah, if you pull it up, they stay. If you push down, they'll move. If you pull them up, there you go. They stay in position. That's good. I like that. So this is this one here. So they're very loose. But if you pull them up, just slightly, they go hard. Hard. <laughs> so yeah, if it's only that easy, you know, push them down, they go soft. You pull them up, they go hard, they don't move. There you go, that's in. So there you go, that position. So I so said, just lift them up and then it's hard. And they don't, there's quite, that's quite, it's quite, um, yeah. It's quite an interesting design, that. Just seeing how they've actually manufactured it, then. Very clever piece. So there you go. So that's really the clamp, um, or towed. But what we want to do is just to check to make sure that the plastic doesn't melt with the um, with the glue, with the cement. And I think it will. So let's have a thick piece. Let's find a little thin piece somewhere. That would do, we don't need that, do we? So if we go in here, it's a bit thinner, that one. Cut over side. There you go. So what we need is some some glue. So if we find my little tray here somewhere, there's my tray. And what we do is we'll put in some of the thick white Tamiya glue. We'll put some in here. Some thicker glue. Perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll just dip this in here and let's just see if we get a reaction. Um, and then put some on there, press him. Oh, it's definitely um, melting the plastic, that is. We'll just push that on there. Leave that, just leave that for a second and see if it dries. Um, I think it is... I think that is actually melting the plastic and joining it together. Yeah, you can see it's uh, it's definitely a reaction there. So this isn't really suitable for getting cement on. I don't know if you could coat it with something, but yeah, it's um, it's a it's a tool, isn't it? And I think I only paid about a tenner for it. Um, I think they're about fifteen quid on Amazon. Um, so this is why, you know, I went looking at it, but I think I only paid about a tenner for this at a, at a model show. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, is that gluing that together? Is it making... Yeah. It's definitely eating away there, you can see. It's definitely eating away at the, at the plastic. There's definitely a reaction there with the plastic. So I wouldn't necessarily use it to glue stuff but if you wanted to use it for um painting stuff etc i think it's um uh, it's 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 got a purpose it has got a purpose um yeah just looking here just saying it's saying it'll apply glue but i think um it does there's a warning on there saying do not use for heavy parts or the clamp assembly will topple I wouldn't use it for gluing because I think if you put some glue on here, these will end up getting stuck tight together and you won't be able to undo them. So don't use it on glue, just use it for painting or holding. Or if you're doing photo etch or something, you want to, you know, look at some photo etch. This might be a little little thing to have. So I've just put the screen a bit closer or the camera a bit closer. Let's have, just have a little nosy at how well it holds parts. Um, so I've just got a piece of sprue here, clip it on there um and just just see what it's like if you just get a brush and just push on it you need to hold on to it a little bit so yeah it, it, it's quite stable if you were painting something I'm, just, I'm not doing anything in particular i just want to see how well it works so if you hold on to it there you know if say you want to glue something together i suppose if you wanted to put that on there as well get a bit more stability you could paint on there quite easily you can even hold it um, in your hand. It's quite a light thing. So if you wanted to adjust things and 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 use it, that's quite good. It's just popped a little bit there. So I think I think this is what it could be. You know, these things here are very handy because you can like keep your fingers in between and give it some more stability. So if you're doing like a pilot or something, even this could be a way of um, painting 
little object. So in the hand, it, it does feel right in the hand. It's quite lightweight, but if you needed to, you know, adjust it and move it around and stuff, yeah, I think that's a pretty good, um, little good test there. So it's gone, it's gone floppy again. So remember, pull it up to make it hard. There you go, and it's and it just kind of stays there. It's like the rubber on the. Whoops, if I pull that one up as well, it's like the rubber just catches that little edge. Try and get closer so you can see that little edge there. And it just gives it a bit more stability. But yeah, you can move it in different positions. You can even use it, just have the one even. So if we just oh, pull that out, push him in there. That's him solid there. If you just wanted to, uh, I've got, have I got a pilot? Yeah, I'm doing it. And um, I, I, you know, every time I want to say the word, but I can't, I'm, I'm actually building this at the moment for the channel. I can't, I am Ichi, I can't remember how to say it now. Um, let's get a pilot. It's the worst little pilot ever on here. So let's get his little pilot out. Right, let's do that. So you wanted to paint a pilot. Um, so there's his feet there. We just, whoops. It's quite, quite a, it's, yeah, it's quite a, um, a push on this. So, so you wanted to do a pilot and just, Oh, this has, I don't know. Let's try this one. Forget that, because that's the flat one. These are the teethy ones. These have got the teeth on them. So push him down slightly so he's locked in. And then it's got like a little gap there. So we could put the pilot there. If you wanted to, I suppose you could um, paint a pilot using this. You know, just give it a bit over the top, over the round and the back. It does cover a lot of it, though, mind. But maybe if you put it on its head. Oh, perfect. For the, if you put the head in... The head fits perfect. <laughs> if you want to do the body like this, you can paint it all up and move it around. That's pretty good. See that way the head's in there, so you could paint it up. So yeah, there is some uses for it. So there you go. That's uh, very much uh, a bit of a test on that. How much weight can it hold though? That's the question. I don't, that's floppy. Use my finger to push. Oh, it yeah. Little push and it does go. Yes, it, it is a very. It's got to be straight up, I suppose. It can't be, but you can spin it around 360 degrees. Um, but you can't. It doesn't seem to lock in there. But you know, that's what it is. So there's a bit of a test for you of it. Um, is it something you could buy and use? Yeah, probably. But I'm not too sure. I would. Um, I would buy it again. I don't know. I put the thing is though with me, I buy tools and I do end up using them. There'll be a job that I need it for. I think, ah, I'll use that. That's a good thing. That will use that. So that's what I do. But yeah, so basically that's the that's a little bit of a test on this kit. You know, put in the comments below. Is it something that you could use? Let me know. There you go. Brilliant. So that's it. I got and you got a couple of extra pins there in case you lose them. But I don't think I'll bother. So I can go over there, uh, bin the rest of the stuff, and away we go. So that's basically it. Is this the sort of thing you would buy? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think you could have a use for this? Um, I will put a link to the Amazon page where I saw this. They are out of stock, but if they do come in stock and you want to buy one, I think you can get one there. But also, thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Ring that bell to be notified when I release a new video. If you'd like to become a channel member and gain some member perks with um, members-only posts, members-only live streams, and the opportunity of winning uh, model kits off me, please feel free to... Um, as I say, click the join button below and on the screen are the names of the channel members and I really appreciate and thank them for helping me create more content. With that, I'll leave you be and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.